at all over the world, you know, in yeah. Ireland, in, you know, we're all feeling that shaken of the fear of the virus, the fear yeah. of the effect, not just on people's lives that are being yes. lost, but also the fear of the, our livelihoods and the economy. Yes. And oh, it's a big, everything, a big every, everything is been touched. Everything has been touched. I think so. I, there's, there's just no field. You, you think the farmers are fine and then you realize they're, they're not fine. No, you know, no, they're, they're pouring no. their milk away because they can't yes. sell it because yes. there are no restaurants, and no That's coffee true. shops. Oh, and, you know, some of their big demand yes. is gone. It's already cut off. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And, and you kind of realize it's actually touching everyone. You know? It is. It is. So on Patrick's Day, yeah. um, the, the uh, churches in Ireland, various independent churches, mm. I saw it go up, you know, we can't go out to the parade. So stay mm. home and pray. Hmm. Okay. So I just thought that's that's fantastic. Our church was, you know, encouraging people to do that. Mm -hmm. And so on my fearless Great. woman page, I put up uh, a, a, just mm -hmm. a St. Patrick's Day prayer. I can't even remember what the prayer was. Yeah. To be honest, but anyway, <clears throat> this was the bit. My page has what maybe three hundred members at the time, something like that. Okay. And it was shared and viewed nine thousand times. Wow. And the Lord just spoke to my heart and he said, see, mm. like, yeah, what am I seeing, Lord? That is amazing. Yeah. That's just bizarre, yeah. you know? <laughs> and, um, and he's saying, people want to pray. They're hungry to pray. That's cool. So I just decided there and then I started a group called Fearless okay. Prayer, Fearless Prayer Ireland. Brilliant. And I said to people, do you want to pray? And I just started inviting the people who were on my page, you know, mm -hmm. and, yeah. And then it just spread and spread. So yeah. now, well, I have well, nearly 400, nearly 400, 400 on the prayer group. Nearly 400? Wow. Yeah. And wow. well over 500 on the page. And, is, and is, it, is it every day? Yeah. Every day. Okay. Every day. It, so at uh, the moment, uh, yeah. we yeah. did a couple of different prayer projects, if you know what I mean. Right. We, did a, we did a day of prayer, then we did right. a weekend of prayer, then we did seven days of prayer, and now yeah. we're on 40 days. Awesome. That's great. And you can't, you can't pray too much. You may, no. pr you may no. not pray enough, no. or you can never pray too much. No, I don't think so. So at no. the moment, what we set up, I felt like the Lord is directing us, because it's me and a little team <laughs> who are kind of, you know, um, just um, kind of take it in stages, because the Irish church is not used to this particular type of thing. You know, it, it's, right. not, okay. it's not a... No, we've n and I don't know if anybody has ever done anything like this where we do it online, you no, know. No, I, uh, I see some of the black community, some uh -huh. of them, yeah, they, they do that. But this is OMG. Yeah, no, I know. I just thought, yeah, I just, I am um, within the first week, a, a couple of people joined and one of them linked me to a group in America. Okay. Of young people. That we right. do like we're doing it, where we, we pray on, we pray our prayers in the comment boxes. <laughs> we have a bit of live worship. We people share. They pray an hour each mm -hmm. throughout mm -hmm. the day, and we're doing a sixteen. We're doing it from a six in the morning till ten at night. Right now, that's where we're where we're doing. Okay. Because okay. um, so, we like a prayer chain. Yes, a yes, prayer okay. chain. That's exactly what it is. Yes. Yeah, yes. and then what's happening is so somebody at least one person has signed up to do that. Right. And, uh, and they may share on the, on, the, on the group page what they're praying or what they have prayed. You know, some people, yeah, some people don't really like to share. That's okay. It's not a... Fine. We're all yeah. different. <laughs> um, but what happens is people are hopping in and praying with the prayers. Wow. So for every one person that's praying in the chain, <laughs> yeah. there's another five or ten that that's are getting great. involved with it online. Wow. And so we've had a few great prayer successes where people have been healed of COVID, which in, which was hugely encouraging, yes, as you can imagine. Yes. yes I yes. mean, seriously, ill people, and not just like they have a mild case, but people who right. are in ICU and people. Yeah. Uh, one of them came out of hospital, I think, about a week ago, and he was wow. actually in on the in the news because God is in the news oh, again, really and he was cool. actually the word. What they the headline was miracle COVID beater. Connor Cleary, and it was this granddad that we prayed for. Oh. He'd spent 26 days in ICU. Praise God. Exactly. Praise you know that that's a miracle. Because, because the, the, you see, it, it, it's an, just being in the front line, it's, 
the, the concern is once they get to ICU and they yeah. need to be ventilated. Yeah, exactly. This man with that basis. They're, they're literally on a wing and a prayer. Yeah. And if they turn it around, I, I personally believe medicine cannot take the credit for that. Mm. Because the kind of disease that is causing within the lungs yes. is like we've never seen it before. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's making the lungs like wood. Yes. You know, your pneumo the banged on pneumonia, the, the lung will be squidgy and secretions are blocking the, the lung. But this is like, and then secretion can get loosened and get out. Yeah. But this is really more like the lung becomes solid. So more like a fibrosis. Yes. So when we go in and right and ventilate them, only God can turn it around. Yeah. So every patient that comes out of ICU, it doesn't matter what people say about it. It's a small miracle. It's a miracle. Yeah. Have we lost you? She can't, I can't hear her again. Oh, Nikki has turned off her, her mic. Yeah, she's not, <laughs> she has, I can see She's that. talking to someone else, the naughty Okay, girl. okay, must be. <laughs> She's back now, we got you. <laughs> but um, one of the ladies who shared, you probably yeah. know her. Do you know Mary Eva Uarere? Yes, Mary, yeah, I hope. Of the so. Alabaster Box. Yes. It's not yes, I know Mary. I know okay. Mary very well. I yeah, yeah. Very well. She had us pray for someone called Carlos in New York, yeah. who was in a coma, who was in ICU for a, an extended period of time on ventilation, right. and he came out. Yeah, well, so that was another, yeah. you know, yes. miracle. And she's praying with us now. I asked her to take on a shift. Oh, she is good. Because I think this is the church is every Christian in this country is part of that. The church. That exactly it is. That's, that's exactly It's not it about is. the black church or the white church. No, 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 the no, 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 no. And, and, I, and I think people need to get that. Yeah. Like our, our own attitude, and I will speak for Nikki and I, is that, you know, God hasn't brought us here to make us an ethnic church within the community. No. He has brought us here to lay hold with the church in this community called yeah. Ireland. Yes. Yes, I agree. So and that I, we can actually move forward as the body of Christ in this. So absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I, and, and the moment and the moment we get that, the the quicker we can actually be able to build together, yes. so that the purpose of God for this nation will be fulfilled. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I mean, I, that's where my heart is totally. Yes. yes. And I think um, um, I, I get so excited when I look at our page, my little page the group right. and all the different nationalities that are there yes, that are represented. Awesome because and, um, and most of the people are living in Ireland. And we've a mm -hmm. certain number of people who just love Ireland, who yes. are praying from South Africa or yes. praying from yes. the, the States, you know, but the majority are people living in Ireland. And, yes. um, and, and I'm excited by that, you know, and uh, yeah. When, when we got the, when we got the award last year, I had mm -hmm. to broadcast it on the board woman page. And right. everywhere. And many people were like, why is that? And I said, it's the white <laughs> version of a bold woman. So <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> so that, that brought in the interest. And, you know, one way or the other. So we have the fearless woman and we, had, we have the bold women. So, okay, let's do this. Yeah. So that's what, yeah. that's, and, and I think it's been awesome. It's yeah, been I hope by the grace of God, we will do our um, conference in October again. Yes. We had yeah. already started planning and everything, mm. you know. Um, but we haven't got, we, we, we have a venue, but we haven't actually paid for it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, you know, I mean, because of the way the timing of went. Course, yes. Of course. Of I, course. I was actually planning to book this thing. So I just have to trust God that I'll, I'll get it booked when I need it. Um, but this mm -hmm. year it's going to be different as in. Mm. We're still going to have the big event. Okay. But we want to right. have a lot of also this, this a series weekend. of workshops. Okay. So we're going to have right. like a breakouts, you know, and okay. um, one of them will be a scientific break. I want to have different flavors, you know, a scientific okay. break one i'd like to have a businessy one you know something around um, entrepreneurship something like that yes, yes. Um, something on prayer mm, you know okay. different different um focuses uh something for young young women very I important something for um i've got i've got some people i've got i've got a wonderful preacher coming in you will love her oh 
Anna, oh. Anna was brilliant last year. So who she are was. you? Well, no, wait till hear I have this year. Her name is Pastor Pastor uh, Dorothy Dorothy Ragia, and she okay. is the pastor of the largest Pentecostal church in Paris with thousands of people in it. Wow. Wow. And she's a white girl. She's white, but she is black on the inside. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm, glad, I'm glad you said it, not us. <laughs> no, she's got soul. This girl has got faith. She's got soul. She's really, really dynamite. I am so thrilled she can come. You know, I'm just so thrilled. Because she has this, the, 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 it's actually called Living Faith this year. That's the, the topic. And, oh, um, yes. and I, yes. because she is a living faith person. Wow. That's her thing. She's faith. Mm -hmm. We so, had anyway. the living hope last year. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So, this I year shared it with um, do Dr. Yeah. So, she. Okay. Knows. Praise God. We so trust God. That, we trust God okay. that um, it will, as we're praying and trusting God, um, we will be able to live again. Amen. We'll be able to live again so that all that you're saying about um, the Fearless Women's Conference and all of that, God will bring it together for us. Amen. So, my Amen. advice would be, I think you, I believe you need to continue with the planning. Oh, yes. Yeah. After yeah. all, we need, we need to live like, um, we need to plan like he's not coming, but we need to live like he's coming tomorrow. That's ah, right. <laughs> yes, that's, that's right. Always have that balance there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we just have to trust God that um, yep. we'll be able to live again. You Amen. Know? Yeah. yeah. Amen. Say, Amen. This we is can't our life. Stop. We be. can't stop planning. And so we've had to cancel the bold woman event for this weekend. Um, yeah, yeah. We were going to use the Hilton Hotel, so we we have to have it cancelled. I know. Yeah. But, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But we have been home for like two weeks here. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, I have not seen this in a while. Mm. So it's been awesome. We've had people from all over the world coming here you know to just see some old faces and you're like oh my god what are you doing there <laughs> it's great yeah That's just great just from facebook and the rest like so it's it's awesome it's awesome yeah we've all had to move church online haven't we we, we have to we <laughs> That's have it. to That's it. because one thing that i see that I, I feel god doing at this period is um many people have been unchurched Mm. they decided they're not going to church again they just want mm. to sit at home yeah. and but because of this the church has refused to they close the buildings and then we brought the building in to ourselves and you could see if you if you do your church thing online you will see the number yeah of people viewing it's amazing mm. we've, we've seen that too in our for us for even for my own uh, church local yeah. church yeah and uh, I was very encouraged, we, well, you know, because uh, we, we have a big old building in Bray. Our, mm -hmm. My church that I go to is called Cornerstone at the Well yes. right, in Bray. And we have a big old building, which costs us, you know, to rent. <laughs> and of course, we're not using it, but we're still renting it, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so my husband got on and um, he gave, a, pre he gave a, a talk about how to give online and how to, all that. And we was, I was just so encouraged because lots of people asked me for the bank details. Asked, right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes. You know, we still have bills. Mm. I'm sure you do too. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Hey. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, count down. Three minutes to go. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome on board. Sister Hannah, good to see your face again. <laughs> Mommy Esuku, I see you, no weapon. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Ma. Pastor Augusta is trying to join, to connect. Wonderful. Hallelujah. It, it, it's, it's been a wonderful experience and we're not taking this grace for granted in any way. We're not. Um, no, don't worry again. We're, we're here again. The, the stuff um, just went off. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I'm on, I'm on borrowed terms here, so. Are you? Yes. Sorry, just no worries. It's okay. Okay, we to see outside. We can't sit outside. Huh? I, I won't be able to see the screen outside. No. So sad. Yeah, it's very sad. I have to, but the, the iPad won't record for me, so I have to. That's how I'm trying to use this. Okay. Okay. Good evening. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 Hi.